guys, I'm Heather and welcome back to my decluttering. Yay! So today we are going to move into blush. I haven't filmed that yet. I'm filming the intro right after I'm filming the outro for my last declutter. This will help me commit to doing blush next time because it's so easy to find an easier drawer. Although I'm kind of running out of those easy things, I think. But we're committed to blush. We're going to do blush this time. And my goal is to get the blush, bronzer, and highlight all into the same drawer. Currently, my blush drawer is full. I have one, but it is completely full. So we are going for that. And let's get started. Okay, so this is... Ooh, my thing is going in and out. This is my blush drawer right here, and it's completely full. So from last time, I did say that I want to fit all the things that were in the highlighter and bronzer drawer for all these ones right here into the same drawer as the blush. So we have to get rid of enough stuff in there that we can fit all this into that drawer. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, here we can see it better. There's all this stuff. So first of all, right off the bat, I think we need to get rid of all the cream products. None of them are new enough that I feel like I should be able to use them. So let's get started. I have these ones here. They're all from MAC, and they were actually in a project pan that I had a long time ago. I just don't like them. They're, what are these? Casual color, lip and cheek color. This one's evening stroll. This one is relaxation. And this one is keep it casual. These will go in the back to MAC drawer. But you'll notice as I go through the MAC stuff that almost everything was from a collection. And to be honest, the MAC stuff and makeup in general for a very long time for me wasn't necessarily about the makeup, but was more the collection aspect. I have a thing with limited editions, being a completist, all that kind of thing. And I know it bothers a lot of people in declutter videos just to see barely used stuff get thrown away. And I get it because, yeah, I hate it too. But it is what it is at this point. Now I focus my collecting on non-perishable items and items that are more likely to actually possibly increase in value than decrease. But I have this little tart thing and I think it was a sample from a box um this one here I actually really loved but that true blood collection came out so long ago to be honest if they still have something like this I would probably get it it was a red kind of sparkly cream product I actually really liked it my favorite cream color for blush is red um, I got two of these from boxes, and I've never used them. I think they're probably the same. No, they're not. Flustered and Girl Crush. These came from, like, some box. Maybe Ipsy, maybe Boxy Charm. I had all of them at some point. Birch Box. I don't know. And I've never used them. I, I don't even really know that I ever used anything I got from this brand at all. And that's why I quit doing the boxes. Okay, I have these two things here. This one is from NYX, and that doesn't even look good in there. I probably used it. That's probably a brush, but this one's called Tickled. And I think that one's really kind of too orange for me, as with this one here in Coral Reef. It's a Revlon cream blush. I really didn't know I had this many cream blushes. <laughs> Okay, and this Iope one is a uh, cream blush. I think I still have another one sitting around that I was going to do 
in a project pan. I'm not sure what happened to it. It's probably sucked into my vanity. So I'll come across it. But I ended up with two of them in the same color also. So I'm going to get rid of that. I don't even need to open it. I know it's a cream blush. Let's see what else. Uh, to be honest, I think that's it for the cream. So let's get to the rest of it. All right. So for the most part, I don't love powder, like um, loose powder blushes. I might keep one, maybe two, depending on the color. But for the most part, I don't like those. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this Bare Minerals one. And this one's called Sorbet. And I think I only have two other ones, possibly this one. And maybe this one. I actually don't know if this is a powder. Oh no, there's some over here. This one. This one's also a Bare Minerals one. And this one is Miracle. Oh, there's another cream blush. Okay. We might actually have gotten rid of enough stuff for my stuff already just with the cream blushes. This is hot pink. This is that. I probably did buy purposefully those NYX cream blushes. In the future, I would only buy red cream blush. Um, but these powder blushes came in kits or boxes. Like the bare mineral ones came in kits with other stuff. I probably bought them for eyeshadow and it came with the blush too. And then these are both Korean ones that came from Mimi Box. And I'm actually going to open those to see what colors they are. I think this one's powder. I'm not sure. I think this one definitely is, but let's check. Okay, so it turns out this one's actually not, but this one is, and it's just a color like this. Part of me wants to keep it just so I have one and it's it's much smaller in space than the others and smaller in like product amount, but I, I don't think I'll use it. So I think I'll get rid of it. I don't know. I'll, I'll think about this one and I'll decide at the end. Okay, so here we are with the rest of them. Let's see where we're going to go. Oh. This one is also um, cream. This is a convertible color in Peony. So we're going to get rid of that. I really didn't know I had that many. Okay, so first off, this right here is from Ofra. This came in a box. I'm sure I have another hot pink, so I'm just going to get rid of that one. I'm going to keep this one. Th these uh, cheek pops came out a long time ago. Col this one's Cola Pop. I don't think there's anything else in here like this one. I never really used it, uh, even though I've had it a while. But I'm going to keep it. I don't mind keeping powder products as much because I feel like the only thing they could possibly do is not work all that well. Maybe they might give me a breakout, but I would know immediately after one use if they did that and could throw them away. But they're not going to like give me an eye infection or something. So I'm okay with keeping older products like this, especially if I never used it. And it you know didn't get exposed to all the air and the brushes and all the other stuff. So... I'm going to keep that one, and I'm going to keep this one. This one's actually relatively new. I think I bought it maybe, like, last year, and this is just a hot pink blush. It's Gudetama. And this one I'm also going to keep. This is a hot spot uh, from Lime Crime, so I'm going to keep that one. That one's also relatively new. I think I'll keep this. This is a combo from Urban Decay Blush uh, Bronzer and Highlighter. I've never really used it, but that would actually be good for like travel. I just like have forgotten I had it in all this stuff. I kind of don't want to get into the MAC stuff. It's all there, so I think we're going to work around it for now. Then I have these Too Faced uh, Little Blushes. Honestly, with these, I think I want to set them to the side, see what other colors I have that are like these. And I think I need to do that with the blush here. 
kind of see what I have, what's similar, and then I can decide on keeping things. But, let's see. I'm going to check these colors real fast and see what they are. Because I'm not entirely sure the packaging will tell me, and then we'll see. Okay, so these are the Too Faced colors. I did swatch them real fast right here. I think definitely this one's just a hot pink, so I'm going to get rid of that one definitely. And then for these, I might hold on to them for now. Because I like the colors on these, and they're not as chalky as that hot pink one was. These would also be good for travel because they're so tiny. So I'm going to keep those two for right now because my goal is to get rid of stuff, but mainly I want to fit everything from the bronzer highlighter drawer in here, and I think we've accomplished that already just with the cream products. So let's see what else we get. I have this Benefit boxed blush in Hervana, and honestly, I felt like, even at the beginning, open, this was too light. Like, it just never worked well. So I think I'm going to get rid of this one. I felt like it never showed up on me anyway. Ah, uh, then I have this. This is such a cute little box. I kind of want to keep it just for the little box. So I'm going to do that. It's my stuff. I can do what I want. Okay, then I have these right here, and these are from Urban Decay. These are, like, massively old ones. I got them on Holt Look. I'm sure I have another orange. In fact, I think one of those, um, this one's kind of a coral color. You can't really tell. It's not the same orange, but, I mean, really, should I be wearing orange on my face? I can't wear orange lipstick. I don't think orange would look all that good on my face either. So these are actually really old. I think they've rebranded several times since they had this style of product. So I'm going to get rid of those. I have a sample of Bella Bomba. I am not even sure what color this is. So I'm just going to get rid of that one. Then I have this Ladykin Blossom Blusher. And to be honest, that's pretty orange as well. So I'm just going to get rid of that. I might keep one orange blush while I'm here. But I probably have an orange blush in the MAC stuff. So we'll see. Okay, then I have this little thing. And I don't... I'm sure this is a pink. Oh, it's actually not. It's actually kind of a peach color. Um, it feels kind of cheap, like the, the packaging. And I got this in a Mimi box a long time ago. I think I'm just going to get rid of it. Okay, so we have these ones right here. This one is Glisten, and this one is Dollface. Uh, I think they're both, like, mini sizes. I feel like I have plenty like this doll face. The Tarte one actually seems a lot like the Too Faced one, so let me check that out. Okay, yeah, so this Tarte one is very similar to this Too Faced one, but this has sparkle in it. And I'm just, I'm not feeling, I'm not feeling that. And doll face I did try out and it's just not showing up, so I'm just going to get rid of both of these. All right, so then we have this Rivico um, blush, and that's kind of a peachy. Let's see. It's like that. I'm actually going to keep that. I don't think there are other colors in here like that, so I'm going to keep that. That's actually really peach right there, but I'm going to keep that one. Oh, and there's this one hiding around. I think this is kind of a neutral color. I'm fairly certain I have a neutral color in the MAC blushes. This one is Party, but I'm just going to get rid of this one. That one was much newer than the other ones. They had different, like, packaging designs, but I still don't think I'll use it. 
Okay, then I have these benefit ones. Dandelion was so light that it never showed up. And then Coralista, I just don't think I ever wore. It's like that. But I feel like one of those other blushes that I kept is that color. So I'm just going to get rid of these. I was never the biggest fan of the Benefit boxed blushes. Now this one, I hardly ever wear, but I like it a lot. It's this one right here. And this is from Buxom, and it's called Rendezvous, so I'm going to keep that one. Ooh, gross. NARS packaging. So I have NARS, um, Orgasm, and Luster. I think Luster is an interesting color. Ugh, I hate this packaging. Yeah, it's like this. Let's see how it, how it looks. Yeah. It's showing up, so I'm going to keep Luster. Oh, I hate that packaging. I'm going to get rid of Orgasm. NARS packaging is disgusting. Okay. Then I have these balm ones. I have Frat Boy and Down Boy. Let's see. This one is Down Boy. This one is Frat Boy right here. I think I kept those colors. I think this is a lot like one of the Tarte ones, and this is just a kind of a neutral color right there. So I'm going to get rid of those. I probably got them at TJ Maxx anyway. Okay, and now we are at the MAC point. And honestly, just because of what I always had to go through to get the MAC products, I'm really hesitant to get rid of any. Even though I have some still in boxes like that. So I'm going to go take a break real fast and then pull out all the Mac stuff. And then we will get into that. And maybe I'll get rid of one or two. I don't know. I just don't even know what I have anymore. Okay, guys. I got some water. I am back with the Mac blushes. I did see this one in there from Essence. It's from their Legends of the Sky collection, and it's called Better Way to Sky, or No Better Way to Sky. And it is actually orange. And it's this one right here. I think for now I'm going to keep it. There might be, I think, this MAC one that's also orange, but we'll see. I Honestly, I don't know if I'm going to get rid of any of these. Or maybe just one of them. But we'll at least go through them and agonize. I think the one that I actually would get rid of is this one right here. It's the first one that I had, and I've hit pan on it already. And this one's called Tenderling. I think that actually is or was part of their permanent line. I mean, to be honest... They may or may not have this anymore, but this is probably, I think, the first MAC blush I got. And I've hit pan on it already, so I think I could say I used it a decent amount. It was not any sort of, like, limited edition. At the time, it was part of their permanent line. I'm not sure if they still have it or not, but I think I'm going to get rid of that one. And then here we are. I really don't want to get rid of any of these. I don't know. I just feel very attached to the fact that I went through the trouble to collect. <laughs> so I have, uh, this one is Play It Proper. And it's like that. Um, what does this even look like? Like that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really like this one. I think I'll get rid of that one. It's almost kind of a baby pink, and that's just not a good color for me in any sort of way. Huh. You know what? I think I still have the room for these. So at this moment, I'm going to keep them. 
Yeah, I think I'm going to keep them. I know I shouldn't. But I did clear out enough space, and I feel like I got rid of enough stuff that I can definitely fit my bronzers and highlighters in there. So I, I'm not, I'm not going to fight myself on this one today. So we got rid of two MAC powder uh, face products, like a blush and I think it was a beauty powder. And then a whole bunch of cream ones because we had no other choice. But I, I think we're good on this one. <laughs> Maybe I didn't get rid of as much as I should, but I still got rid of a decent sized amount. Okay, so this is what I'm keeping out of this drawer. So it's definitely much, much emptier than it was before. And I remember the reason why I have these set like that is that they're too tall for these drawers. But there is what I'm keeping out of my blush drawer. And this is the drawer with all my highlights and bronzers added in. I'm sure there will probably be one or two more things once I get to my vanity. But I think I should be able to rearrange things at that point so everything can fit in. There's definitely enough space. So this is everything that I'm keeping from my blush, bronzer, and highlight drawer all in one. Okay, so I did have this little powder one that I was considering keeping. I think I have more than enough room to actually keep it, just in case for some reason I do need a powder one. I do like this color more than the other powder ones that I have. So I'm going to add that back into my drawer. But these are the ones that I am getting rid of. A lot of them are cream. Um, several of them will go into my Back to Mac drawer. And I did get rid of some powders that I just didn't like or were old or never showed up in the first place, and I never got rid of them after that. I actually am bad about not returning things if I bought them and didn't like them. I know, like, both Sephora and Ulta have that kind of return policy. But once I bought it, I've just always forget to return things unless it was just horrifically bad or there was some issue and I want another one. But just because I didn't like it, I tend to never get around to returning it. So that happened with a few of the Benefit blushes, like Hervana. But yeah, so I think I did a pretty good job getting rid of stuff. And that was my blush declutter. Hopefully the lighting in this part is a little better. On the Prime Day sale, I got a cheap ring light, so hopefully that will help some of the lighting that I've been having issues with and not make that green color so weird, I guess. But anyway, aside from that, that was my blush declutter. I did not get rid of the MAC products like I thought I would. It's just, it was so much <laughs> getting those. I would schedule my work schedule around Mac releases. So it was like that. So I'm just not quite ready to let those go, but I did get rid of a lot of stuff. So hopefully that will make up for it just a little bit. I think for the next part, I'm not gonna jump into the lip glosses just yet. It's, it's coming, but I have stuff that over time, just to get out of the way of kind of shoved in bags or boxes or something like that. And they're just kind of sitting in a corner. And I feel like I can't progress with anything else beyond the makeup stuff, skincare stuff, whatever it is, until I get the stuff in that like kind of pile out of the way. So I think that's what I'm going to do next. Just take the several bags and boxes that I have, dump them out on the bed, and go through them. I think that's going to be my next one. I'm not entirely sure. It is going to take some time. So I may try to do something quicker first, but I don't know. But I think that's what's going to be next. So I will see you guys then. Bye.